So in this screencast, I'm going to show you how we can make a user-defined uh, function uh, using VBA. So we have a cone here, and we want to compute the volume of this cone. We want to be able to type in something like cone volume and type in the radius of maybe 4 and the height of maybe 6. Press enter, and it'll compute the volume using this formula. So right now, there is no built-in function in Excel to do that. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and insert a module. So I'm going to call this function cone volume. It's going to only have two arguments, so it's going to have R and H. Now you don't dim your arguments inside the function as you do in subroutines. Instead, and this is where you dim things. So this is where we would declare the radius as a double. We could also do the same thing for the height. And then the output of the cone volume function, we want that to be a double, so we can put double at the end. And uh, you don't redim. Some people are tempted to write dim r as double, but that actually won't work, and it'll give you an error. And if uh, at the end of this screencast, I'll show you what happens when you do that. But if you need to define new variables inside the function, for example, I have pi in my cone volume function. I can do that here, so just like we would in a subroutine. So dim pi as double. And I'm going to, uh, for now, I'm going to define pi is equal to 4 times the arctangent of 1. There is no built-in function for pi like there is in Excel. Uh, 4 times the arctangent of 1 is a good way to get pi. The output of a function is always the name of the function. So whatever you want to be output in the cell, that we type the formula in in Excel, there has to be a variable named cone volume <clears throat> inside of our cone vol function. So I can do cone vol equals. Now this is where I'm going to put the the right hand side of the volume equation. This is just equal to our pi that we've defined times radius squared times our height that's input by the user divided by three. And there is our cone volume function. Now I can go over here and I can type in cone vol of, let's say, a radius of 4 and a height of 6. And when I press enter, it'll calculate the volume using this formula. So this works just like other functions in Excel. I could do a case study using it. I can drag it just like other formulas. I can name this cell RAD for radius. Then I can go up here and I can type in my cone volume function with the radius that I've defined down here. I want to do, I want to keep a constant radius of 4, but I want to do a case study on the height changing from 0.5 to 4. The second argument I can just use as my height there, and I can press enter, and then I can drag this down just like you would other formulas in Excel. So let me show you what happens if we dim r inside of the function. Some people think that they have to redim the arguments as I alluded to earlier. Dim r as double. But when we try to do that, then let me go back over here and press enter. It gives us an error and says duplicate declaration in current scope. So you can't redim the arguments that you put into the function. So we need to go ahead and delete that. So this is how you make just a basic user-defined function in VBA.